Yeah, this decision is especially important here in Alaska, which is home to 229 federally recognized tribes and countless Alaska Native entities. The Supreme Court upholding the Indian Child Welfare Act, a law many, many say plays an important role in maintaining tribal identity. Today's decision by the U.S. Supreme Court is an overwhelming victory for tribal sovereignty, for tribes, and for Native children. We couldn't um, have expected a better decision. In a 7-2 decision, the Supreme Court voted to uphold the Indian Child Welfare Act, which gives preference to Native American families in foster care when adopting Native children. Oh, the Brackeen decision had an enormous impact on Alaska. We're home to over 40% of the nation's tribes, 229, and ICWA is a foundational cornerstone in which we set many different federal policies on. Passed in 1978, the act provides for the placement of American Indian foster children in custody, foster care, and adoption cases. It responds to the high number of Native American children being placed with non-Native families or institutions. The Supreme Court took up this case after three white families and several states challenged the law, claiming it's based on race and is unconstitutional under the Equal Protections Clause. But the SCOTUS ruling on Thursday reaffirmed the federal law and will reinforce Native families' right to raise their children in their tradition, among other things. To ensure that Alaska Native children are under the act Indian children remain connected to their family, to their communities, and to their culture. The Alaska Federation of Natives, Nicole Borromeo, says culture is the heartbeat of who Alaska Native people are. She says that while most Alaska Native history is passed down orally, to her, it's a significant decision that will help ensure culture and tradition survive to the next generation. The court really said it best. Native people have the right to raise their children in our cultures. Our tribes have the right to continue on as we have for millennium. And Congress has the right to legislate in the area of Indian affairs under its plenary power. I think it is recognition. I think it's respect. I think it is a ringing endorsement of the findings of ICWA. And Congresswoman Mary Poltola, who hails from the Yukon, Kuskokwim Delta region, reacting by saying in part, quote, this decision provide certainty and security for children and families all across this country and respects the basic principles of self-governance for Native American tribes. She says this is an important step to continuing the process of intergen intergenerational healing from long histories of separation and loss and for a victory for tribal advocates everywhere.